Oh, hiya, swabs. Captain Jeff the Pirate here. I share the service. Welcome to Captain Jeff Reviews and Questions Adventure Time. Now, this past week, we got more of the backstory of Marceline Abadir. It was a Fortnite special event where the entire, where both two parts of the episode were about, Mar about Marceline. So, without further ado, Captain Jeff is proud to be reviewed and questioned Adventure Time, the special eight-part Fortnite series special Adventure Time Stakes. And with that, let us begin the review. Arr. All right, so the first episode be Marceline the Vampire Queen. And in this episode, she she no longer wants to be a vampire. So she speaks with uh, Princess Bubblegum to try to find a way to reverse the process. So after, so here's what. I'm, my first question is, what, what, what about Simon and Betty? Isn't she going to still wait around for them, or is she going to try to help them? H how's that going to work out? Secondly, Princess Bubblegum offers to use her lab to try to successfully, re to try to, in an attempt to remove the vampirism. I was first wondering where this lab was. Was it back at the castle? No, it's under the cabin. How long did it take her to make this, and doesn't she have to worry still about the varmints from, like, the previous episodes? Anyway... She says that no one has successfully cured vampirism, and that it's only, unless you count stabbing them, which, uh, in case Marceline has cured tons of vampires. Which makes me wonder, why is she going after other vampires? Because, I mean, she's a third demon, third human, third vampire, so, yeah. Anyway, after the machine extracts her vampirism, she has this weird dream, and then suddenly... The local crop, the local cows in the nearby town be acting all funny. So we have to fit in Jake to figure out what's going on and to try to find a way to clear Marceline's name. Alright, on to the next episode. May I come in? So then, uh, let's see. We got rid of we got rid of the foolish garden gnome and we got rid of the Empress Eyes. Uh, I have no idea how to pronounce the name of the uh, third vampire. Hierophant, Hifferant, eh, I don't know. It'll... The, pro the words are probably somewhere on the screen right now of what his name is, so... Eh. Anyway, the episode begins with Finn, Jake, Marceline, and Princess... And Bubblegum. They're, they be looking at these weird pearl things left by the vampire known as the Moon. Now, we were, had a description of her. She has the self-healing powers, but we never saw her until a few episodes ago. Now, what are these bubble things that she'd be dropping? And they, uh, Marceline calls them pearls. Let's see. And as for the moon, she has her healing abilities, so it says that'll be an easy fight. Let's see. So why does she make them? That's my question. What's with the whole pearl thing? Apparently, Prince Bogum has some kind of a uh, vampire detector. Now, uh... Of course, everyone has, they have all these steaks and, and a garlic bomb, which was a gift from a Peppermint Butler, who had an idea to keep it on standby just in case Marceline snapped. Meanwhile, back at uh, Bubblegum's new place, uh, the uh, third vampire, he wants, he's, he knocks at the door and asks, may I come in? He'd be the one with the animal shapeshifting abilities. Apparently, he can't enter in a boot until he has permission, so... Once again, this be old vampiric lore, which makes me wonder, was it a side effect from the bomb, or, like I said, did vampires exist before the bomb went off? So Peppermint Butler texts the princess, texts Bubblegum, that uh, he be on the way. So let's see. Yeah, so he, so they find him, and they try to fight him. He comes, he tries to explain to, uh, he tries to explain something to Marcy, but she doesn't listen. So then Jake sees the text about how he can't enter a house. So Jake, using his powers, becomes a house and everyone hides inside him. Including, for some reason, they have found Lumpy Space Princess, who is there for comedic relief. So uh, the vampire makes a deal. He says he wants Marceline and him to team up to take down the vampire king. In exchange, he has to stop hunting animals and drinking their blood. He'd be a vampire! That'd be kind of his thing! So he grabs, uh, he grabs, uh, Marceline trying to hurt her. 
Now, earlier in this episode, we saw the king, one, two, pr princess of Wu, hunting Crunchy. And so, uh, that's how they found out where Marcel where Bubblegum lives. So then, Crunchy comes out of the bushes and accidentally knocks the vampire into the structure of Jake. So Jake, uh, since Jake is technically a house, he poofs. He's instantly defeated and Marceline absorbs his abilities. After, the only problem was he, she absorbed them after fighting him. And she took a nick on the arm, which got her poisoned by scarpion venom. Er. Now the question is this. Other, we saw the uh, Empress, she was able to get into the uh, Ice Kingdom without any problem, so what, was this his own personal code? Is that why he exploded? She said, Marceline says that he was too old school for his own good, which was pointed out in a few episodes earlier how the King says about the old ways being not so good. So then Jake vomits the remains of the vampire. Basically the skeleton, so what, does he now infected or affected or since the vampire is destroyed it doesn't hurt him yeah so this be an interesting episode so overall I would give the episode may I come in I give it a thumb and a half up it was weird because it was weird it was a little funny and we had lumpy space princess involved for some reason Arr. yeah but uh, yeah so now Marceline, she has she has the ability to fly back, she has her animal transformation back, and she has uh, her invisibility back. All that's left is healing and whatever the king has, or whatever. Yeah, so this would be a good series. Alright, that's all the time we have for this episode. Until next time, this be Captain Jeff. Thank you for watching me review and question Adventure Time. Saying thank you for watching, and as always... And as always, our